Hello and welcome to Maddie G's Kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you how to prepare one of my personal favorites, which I like to call stir-fry pussy. Now in order to do this, what we're going to have to do is actually teach you how to properly clean and prepare a kitten. Now if you're like me, you like your kitten fresh. Now I get mine specially imported in from Malaysia. A little fun fact is that uh, Malaysian kittens are much more tastier than Korean kittens. But I mean, you can just get any old kitten that you can find lying out next to the dumpster and that'll do just fine. Uh, what do you say we get things started? And we'll start it off by uh, telling you what you need. Now what you're going to need is one large Spanish onion. Um, it can be white, that's okay. One clove, or at least half a clove of garlic. Can of bean sprouts. So, uh, the vegetables are really up to you, but I like to do a mixture of broccoli and cauliflower. Uh, snow peas is a must. Um, also what you're going to need is the main ingredient, of course, which I have here in this bowl, which is a uh, kitten. I like to start off with two to three kittens because the meat is so tender that uh, what can end up happening is that it'll fall apart in the pot on you. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually boil the kittens because we want to get that fur off and get to that good tender meat. So what I've done is I've actually have two things on the go here. Uh, my pot is boiling over on this burner and what we want to do is make sure it's on maximum. We want to reach maximum boil and what we'll do is we'll actually put the kittens in and it'll be 25 to 30 minutes that will boil. Uh, the next thing that I have going, which is a little soon yet, I don't have it turned on, but I put a little oil in a skillet just to get the stir fry ready. So what we'll do is we'll wait until that boils and then we'll, uh, we'll get the kittens in and we'll get started. Okay, now that the pot is boiled, it's time to actually drop the kittens in one by one. Uh, don't worry about it though, because they only experience agonizing pain for 15 to 20 seconds. So, here we go! Guys, Foreman, get over here, you. Ooh. Yeah. Be prepared to hear them cry a little bit, but see? It stopped. Matter of seconds. That last step should have taken you about 25 to 30 minutes to get the full tenderness of that cat carcass. So now what you want to do is actually take your drained meat, and we're just going to put it down here, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to chop it up. Now the thing about cat carcass, as I said before, is that it's extremely tender. You don't have to use a very big knife um, to get what you want, but what you want to do is cut away all of the bone as much as possible. Because bones, you don't want to choke on a cat bone. That's, uh, that's how you go down. You go down fast. So your next step is you want to have your oil heated in your skillet. I like to only put it on three or four, and that way uh, it's going to take longer to cook the meat. So after you let that uh, cook up for about 15 minutes or so, you can start adding your vegetables into the mix. So what you want to do next is actually get your pot back out, put that back on the stove, let it boil for about 10 minutes or so, and then you want to add your rice. And there you have it. It's about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. It's a great meal. It's simple for the family. Everybody likes to say it. Pussy stir fry. It's delicious. I'm just going to try a little piece here. Mmm, that is good pussy. Well, I want to thank you for joining Maddie G's Kitchen. Um, stay tuned next week. It's going to be very special because I'm going to teach you how to make a fetal abortion casserole. I know how excited you are about that, and I can just taste the placenta thinking about it. So until next time, good eats. Mmm.